Hi everybody, this is Kaylana the Blush Driver and today I'm going to do a vlog on how to deal with dishonest customers as a shopper for Instacart. Okay, now I'm not sure if anyone has talked about this or if anyone has done a vlog on this or not, but this has become a serious epidemic, not only just as a shopper, but also for the company itself. And I'm not sure if Instacart is really taking any focus on this because this is very serious. Now I'm gonna I'm going to just now this is coming from my point of view. This may or may not work for you. I don't know. Uh, but this is these are just a few suggestions and even how to cope. Now me of course I do I pray, but um it is very it is very how can I say challenging dealing with customers that aren't honest. Now I'm going to give some examples um, of things that people do um, shopping, uh, I'm sorry, things that people do when they order from Instacart and things that we have to do and how, how we, uh, deal with it. So basically this is probably the most, the most well-known issue that we have as shoppers for Instacart. Okay. There are customers who order on the app or online They order from Instacart. Of course, you know, they order their groceries and as the shopper is of course shopping for them that they shop for their groceries and deliver their items to the customer. Now, in between that time, as we are shopping for the customer, sometimes we are able to communicate with them via app. Like most of the time, um, we're able to chat with a customer on our app. So if there are any changes or if there are any updates, if the customer wants a refund, like whatever it is, we can, we can do that all by app with, you know, by communicating with the customer. Now what happens is sometimes is after you have delivered your, your items to the customer, you have delivered them to the customer now, they will go back and say that the items are missing. I kid you not, they, people do that. Like you can have a large order of like maybe 50 or 100 some items and they go back and say that it wasn't delivered or it, you know, or it was missing or um, poor replacement or something. Just It'll be something. I think that is probably the most uh, nerve wracking thing uh, going, you know, going forth as a shopper is dealing with people that aren't honest and, and knowing that you have delivered the items to the customer, they had, you put it in their hand and they put it inside their home and then they go back on the app or online and say that all the items are missing or certain items are missing when you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you gave it to them because one thing is, is not in your car. Second of all, you were able to bag your own groceries, of course, or you had separated the, the, um, the orders. So for instance, like if you're shopping for more than one person at a time, some people like myself, I have, I either use, um, like paper bags or plastic bags, depending on the customer's, uh, depending on the customer's preference, I make sure that they're all separated and things like that. So, um, so that way n nothing gets missing. That is very difficult is when people do not tell the truth. Customers go back and lie and say that, um, items weren't delivered just to get free stuff. So basically they go back and say, Hey, I didn't get this. I didn't get that. And so on the app, you go back and look on your metrics that there were items that were missing. Cause whenever a customer rates you or if they report items missing or poor replacement or whatever the case may be, it lowers your metrics. And I'll talk about metrics later. And so that is very, that's so like, that is so wrong. And so, um, that's what some people do. They say that items are missing. Um, and then if they say it's missing, what happens is they contact Instacart and the Instacart redelivers that same item all over again. So even though they did get it, they can get something else free. So, so, so say suppose if you shop for someone and you shop for maybe 20 items or a hundred items or 30, like whatever, like however number, and they all report it missing, which you know, it's not missing. They contact Instacart and Instacart reissues another delivery. So basically they can have double free groceries. Why people do that, I don't know. Um, I don't understand that. Like I had delivered to somebody before and he was actually trying to sell me his groceries and it was a very, very large order, um, very large. And so like a hundred some items. And so I, I won't go into a lot of detail, but which it made absolutely no sense to me. But of course I declined. And so um, that's one thing you shouldn't, of course, do is try to buy something from a customer because that, that could definitely be a setup. So um, one way to deal with that is, of course, um, reach out to Instacart. And of course, they rarely answer their phone. So you'll probably have to send them an email. And the email is, of course, shoppers at Instacart.com. And so when you contact and reach out to Instacart and let them know what happened, they'll probably send either like, like a pre 
automated email or whatever, or they may exactly tell you what you know what to do. However, I have done that, and many other shoppers have done that. And usually, Instacart's response is, "Don't worry about it. Just continue to shop and do your best." Blah blah blah, et cetera, et cetera. But the crazy part about that is, is even though you know we get the okay, like, "Hey, it's all right. We understand." We still get dinged for it. Now, those are some of the consequences that we face as shoppers dealing with dishonest customers. Um, the best thing I can tell you to do if you have experienced this for your first time or if you're still experiencing this is whatever Instacart tells you to do, just do it. Meaning like if you if you reach out and, and, and you're honest and say, hey, I didn't like, you know, uh, steal anything or, you know, I didn't like not deliver something like I did deliver this or I did do this. And, and you know you're telling the truth and... Whatever their response is, just let it be that. Um, this is how I feel about it. And make sure that you document everything because I think it's unfortunate that not only is it hurting us as shoppers, but it's hurting the company. It's like when people lie and try to get free stuff like that, that's costing the company like millions of dollars, like like an unbelievable amount of, of money. And so, sorry, I had a text message. So basically, that is a suggestion is to reach out to Instacart, keep your cool, and don't take it personal. When customers are being dishonest, make sure that you send them their information. Say, hey, this is what happened. I, I, I delivered it. Um, do your due diligence. Do your part. Document everything. Don't get stressed out. Don't worry about it. And continue to go forth because you, you're going to have that as a shopper. People are going to lie. They're going to say the items are missing. They're going to say that it was a poor replacement. They're going to say that, oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead and replace that. But then go behind your back and then, you know, say, hey, they replaced this. It was a poor replacement or I didn't get this and, you know, or, or make up something negative about you. That's very dishonest. However, continue to do what you know what to do. Document, send the information to Instacart, let it go and keep it moving. I got to run, y'all, but keep the faith. God bless y'all and have a blessed day.